honey, you're still full of it. You're full of yourself, but Tucker is still pulling it in. You respond to it. So take a look at this. This is from actually today. There, uh, a quick uh, take on what they said. <laughs> he lost those people so much money mm -hmm. that I don't think it's that they suddenly had a moral compass and said, oh my goodness, he's saying <laughs> these racist and misogynist things and he's doing these false flag documentaries and we've got to get rid of him. He cost them too much money. And in order to stop the bleeding, when you have a pending lawsuit for a billion, over a billion dollars mm -hmm. against you, you can use somewhat of a defense. Listen, we recognize what he was doing, and he no longer works for the company. Provides him a little bit of money cover. See, now that's some bullshit. I have a question right. for you. Why are other people who also said that the Dominion voting machines were corrupted, mm -hmm. why are they still working there? They shouldn't be working there. My understanding, <laughs> though, is that um, the feeling by Dominion's lawyers was that their behavior was not as egregious. Oh. And part of the Domin Dominion settlement that hasn't been made public, and this has been reported, I'm not sure if ABC News has verified it, that it was part of the deal was, and then you got to get rid of Tucker. You know, it shows you that everyone is expendable. Yeah. No mm -hmm. one is... I don't know whoever thought they weren't. Well... All right, so that was The View. And just to give you some background, the panel started the show discussing a preview excerpt from Network of Lies. That's an upcoming book by Brian Stelter. <sighs> that will examine circumstances behind Carlston's ouster. So that's what they were re responding to, um, that book. I want to start off with you, Shelley. What do you think as far as what they said about Tucker? Did he leave Fox for because of this lawsuit? Um, we were talking about that before. It's possible that that played a, maybe a significant role in having him removed from Fox. But let me say this about Tucker and The View. When I last looked which was within the last hour, Tucker still has 10 point something million followers Period. on Twitter compared to <laughs> the Spews, <laughs> the Hens, only about 900,000 followers. So no matter where Tucker goes and what he does, he still commands an audience many times bigger over the views. Sonny, you're still full of it. You're full of yourself, but Tucker is still pulling it in. Yeah, you're you're right. I, uh, I want to get your thoughts on this, Crystal. Um, you know, they're saying that, you know, Tucker was fired due to this Fox Dominion lawsuit. Um, pretty much they're trashing him. What are your thoughts? They so they, we have to understand that this is a concerted effort, like mm -hmm. stay on script Stay on cue. Don't look at Tucker's millions of views. Don't look at his show. Make him tear him down and make him not popular. Yep. But the fact of the matter is, Tucker will always be a voice of reason. I mean, he'll all be always be a voice that people listen to because you know what he does, you guys, that y'all don't know how to do? He tells the truth. Exactly. Oh my God. Exactly. Who thought it would be so <laughs> Simple that he tells the truth, but you know what they're trying to do the same thing that we talked about last last time is Oh, and I think in the clip she was like Tucker what used to be so well respected. Oh now Tucker's oh, crazy no, he's, still he's crazy he's still everybody respected. no one listens to Tucker don't listen and, and it's really just dog whistling to try to get their viewers exactly. to think less of him But nobody exactly. does yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and it, I want to read a quote from uh, Tucker uh, after the firing, he says, the best you can hope for in the news business at this point is the freedom to tell the fullest truth that you can. <laughs> but there are always limits. And you know that if you bump up against those limits, often enough, you will be fired exactly. for it. That's not a guess. Exactly. It's guaranteed. guaranteed. And that's exactly, exactly what happened. Just like she might be fired because on that clip, she said something about ABC didn't verify something. Yeah, I so heard she that might too. be, who knows? She might be suspended, whatever. But again, Tucker still has credibility. He's telling the truth. And even if the lawsuit played a, a role, which I think it does, because I always say follow the money. So the money is a big factor. However, comma, the fact that Tucker has been, I guess, transitioning or transforming 
transforming his thinking about things, maybe going back and looking at the lies that people like the hens on The View have been telling and that whole scamdemic. He's been breaking it down, bringing in some counter views. Remember when we were censored? Right, yeah. but telling just even bringing up a question that we have, right? <laughs> Maybe we, we were just asking, well, why are we doing this? Why is this mandated? You know, we would censor conservatives by and large. Tucker has been telling the truth, bringing out the truth, like the government, you know, colluding with uh, Facebook and, and Twitter. Thankfully, January Elon 6th. Musk has bought it, even at a discount and, and maybe a loss to himself, but he's taking that risk so that truth and other voices are in the, in the marketplace and it's not the government's responsibility to censor out who it wants, when it wants, because somebody may not be saying the right thing. Get a fucking grip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think like you mentioned... Shelly wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. (laughs) Yeah, I I think like you said, it's jealousy. Um, They're trying to do the, you know, this trick of the eye sort of thing where they try to get everyone not to watch his show. Please watch it. Yes. He's still Tucker, the same Tucker that was from uh, Fantastic. Fox. Actually, I like him more like now. Him more. He's become, you know, he's talking about all sorts of topics. I love what he did on the Blaze TV when he was interviewing the uh, Republican candidate. Right. Really stuck it to Pence. Ooh, yeah. and um, old girl mentioned the whole crackhead situation that was supposed to be fake news. Oh, right. Um, um, you know. Um, like and let me say this. We all like Tucker, love Tucker. I've been, you know, watching Tucker on Fox News forever. There are some episodes on his new platform that I didn't think he did well. I thought it was kind of like, I think we used the word tabloidish. Right. However, the numbers don't lie. As, no, they exactly. said, as they said, 10 million versus 900,000. Big, big, like Julia Roberts says on uh, Pretty Woman. Big. Yes. <laughs> big mistake. Big. Huge. Don't worry about Tucker. Tucker good, okay? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's oh, yeah. all we have to say oh, yeah. is Tucker good. He doesn't good. even have to do this. He doesn't even have to <laughs> exactly. work. They even tried to bring his wife. I know. They tried to bash his wife. They don't even know this woman. I know. The nerve of them. They, I know. They just, like, you know what? I'm going to say the C word. The, they're cunts. <gasps> Shelly! <laughs> well, and not only that, but re, um, right after he was fired, his primetime show at 8 p.m. regularly drew yep. over 3 million viewers on Fox. Since Carlson's not, departure, the hours ratings have been halved. So not I mean, rebounded at all. It, yeah, it hasn't yeah. rebounded. And conservatives, this is where we need to vote with our attention and vote with our dollars. And honestly, I don't watch the five anymore. I canceled my Fox subscription. Tucker was really the only reason I that I was hanging on, like even just kind of hanging on. Mm-hmm. And now I don't watch any of them. Like making ca- like YouTube is where it's at. That's why y'all come to find us. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, we will continue to follow that story well, as we do. We'll continue to respond to the views, tacky and incorrect uh, information that they put out. So again, continue to watch us here, 8 p.m. every Wednesday evening on Pop and Politics live on YouTube. Yep. So we're gonna move.